Hey friends, and welcome to Muscle for Life. I'm Mike Matthews, your host. Thank you for joining me today for a short episode, a short cast. Maybe I should come up with some kind of term for these shorter episodes I've been doing every couple of weeks. And today I want to talk about the antidote to dark days. Sometimes it's a white pill. And no, I'm not talking about Xanax. I'm talking about being a fountain, not a drain, as the saying goes. Finding a bright spot, finding a break in the clouds, finding a spiritual salve to like, love, and rub all over ourselves. And for all its blessings, fitness has two faces. It is not always the angel farts and the chocolate coins. Sometimes our alarm goes off and workout sounds about as appealing as exposing ourselves at JC Penney's and then we go to do the workout and it feels like we're trying to walk a feral 220 pound dog sometimes we look at a meal that we have perfectly prepared to meet our macros and suddenly we would rather drink a bucket of warm spit than stick to our diet for another day these things happen they're unavoidable they are like the wrinkles of aging but there are some consolation prizes too, and many of them can be shinier than you might think. These are silver lanes, not linings, and they make the, the fitness juice well worth the squeeze. For example, people who say that fitness doesn't get easier, you only get better, are wrong. It actually takes far less attention and effort to stay fit and to look fit than it takes to get fit in the first place. Also, much of the weight gain during the holidays, well, that's not fat. That is mostly extra water and glycogen due to sodium and carb orgies that then dramatically increase water retention. And it is a lot of stool weight as well, because whatever goes in the one hole takes 24 to 72 hours to worm its way out the other hole. There are also are no fattening foods or macronutrients. And if someone insists otherwise, challenge them to eat nothing but 700 calories of their favorite nutritional bugbear for seven days straight. And let's see what happens. You also don't have to hit a PR to have a fitness win. Sometimes it's just getting outside and going for a walk or doing some push-ups or not eating the whole pizza or the whole box of cookies. Huzzah, keep it up. Another fitness white pill is you couldn't gain more than a pound or two of fat in an entire day of relentless feasting and imbibing, so you don't have to fret over the occasional cheat meal gone awry. Even your worst is not going to visibly disturb your body composition, so you can just shrug those incidents off and jog on. In fitness, you also don't have to get it right the first time or the second time. You have as many chances to lose fat and build muscle as you'd like. And guess what? It's also okay to quit a program, but you just can't quit all of them. And calories? Well, yes, they always count, but that does not mean you have to always count them. Calorie counting is just one way to calibrate your eating to your goals, but it's not the only way. And it's okay if it's not your way. I'm still not done. I have more for you. Training just once or twice per week? Well, that's far better than training zero times per week. And moderate but consistent training beats out intense but sporadic training in every way. So you can take your time if and when you need to. Something you should remember when you're scrolling. People who are always super fit, well, they don't have any special knowledge. They don't have special methods. They've simply made their physique a top priority, and often because it makes them money, or they view training as some form of therapy, and they almost always never have kids. Last fitness white pill for you is fitness is not just for people who mostly want to change their body composition or burn calories or get stronger. It's also for people who want to relieve stress or have fun or get healthier or move more, or simply feel better. 
If you like what I'm doing here on the podcast, then you're going to love my award-winning fitness books for men and women, which have sold well over 1 million copies, have received over 15,000 four and five star reviews on Amazon, and have helped that I know of tens of thousands of people build their best body ever. Because here's the deal, building lean muscle, losing stubborn fat, and gaining whole body strength isn't nearly as complicated as you have probably been led to believe. And my books are the shortcut. They give you everything you need to build your best body ever without having to live in the gym, give up all the foods or drinks you love, or do long grueling workouts you hate. So if you are someone over the age of 40, man or woman, and if you are new to resistance training or relatively new to resistance training, you want to get my book, Muscle for Life. That is going to be the best one for you, and that is going to be the best program for you. And if you are a man under the age of 40 trying to gain your first 25 pounds of muscle, then you'll want bigger, leaner, stronger. And if you'd also like a workout journal with an entire year's worth of bigger, leaner, stronger training that takes you from novice to expert, pick up a copy of the year one challenge for men as well. And if you're a woman under the age of 40 trying to gain your first 15 pounds of muscle or lose your first 15 pounds of fat, you can lose more, of course, but if you're trying to lose that first 15 pounds, then my book, Thinner, Leaner, Stronger, will show you the way. And I also have a workout journal for you with a year's worth of Thinner, Leaner, Stronger training called the Year One Challenge for Women. So you might want to pick up that too. And finally, if you are an advanced weightlifter with at least three years of proper training under your belt, I have a book and program for you too. It is called Beyond Bigger, Leaner, Stronger. And there is a workout journal that goes with it called the Beyond Bigger, Leaner, Stronger Challenge. Now, you can find all of my books on all major online retailers like Audible, Amazon, iTunes, Kobo, Google Play, and there probably are a few others that I'm not thinking of, as well as in select Barnes and Noble stores. And I should also mention that you can get any of my audiobooks for free when you sign up for an Audible account. And that's a great way to make those pockets of downtime like commuting, meal prepping, cleaning, more interesting, entertaining, and productive. And if you want to take Audible up on that offer and get one of my audiobooks for free, just go to buylegion.com slash audible. That is B-U-Y legion.com slash audible and sign up for your account and get one of my audiobooks for free. Well, I hope you liked this episode. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, subscribe to the show because it makes sure that you don't miss new episodes. And it also helps me because it increases the rankings of the show a little bit, which of course then makes it a little bit more easily found by other people who may like it just as much as you. And if you didn't like something about this episode or about the show in general, or if you have uh, ideas or suggestions or just feedback to share, shoot me an email, mike at muscleforlife.com, muscleforlife.com, and let me know what I could do better or just uh, what your thoughts are about maybe what you'd like to see me do in the future. I read everything myself. I'm always looking for new ideas and constructive feedback. So thanks again for listening to this episode, and I hope to hear from you soon.